guys, hello, hello, hello. Today is going to be a quick haul slash review of ColourPop. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Anytime you can find affordable makeup that has good pigmentation, color payoff, and is pretty long lasting, like you can't beat that. So I've got um, three lipsticks, one lip liner, and one, two, three, four, five, six. I can count six <laughs> eyeshadows to show you guys today so we shall jump right into them I'll show you guys the swatches and then after I show you the swatches and all that good stuff I will review them and let you know what I think of the colors and how you can find them and all that good stuff so let's get started all right guys so this is the box that all of my products came in this was the cute little card it came with it says dear Nadira you're a beautiful cupcake in a world full of muffins how did they know I love cupcakes Super cute though, nice little personal touch. These little flyers came in this. This one just gives you tips and tricks on how to apply the Super Shock Shadow. And this one just tells you about the different finishes that they have as far as matte, satin, glossy, and things like that for the lipstick. This is the lipstick that I got. And this is just the rest of the shadows. Some of them I've already taken out of the box. This is the first swatch that I'm going to show you guys. This is Brinks. This is a matte lipstick shade. It's kind of like a pinky, taupish color. I'm just going to go ahead and swatch that on for you. It glides on nice and smooth. I really do like the color. It's almost like a nude-ish, pinky nude-ish color, but I really do like this color. Alright guys, the next one is Lumiere. Super pretty. This color is probably one of my favorites. It's more like a mauve pink color, and I do think that this would actually be a really good color on just about every skin tone. But I really do like this color. The application was nice and smooth and easy, and this is a matte shade as well. The next one I'm showing you guys, this is the only lippy stick that I got in Bossy. Really like the application on it, and this is the actual Bossy lipstick. So you guys can see a little bit more sheen in it, even though it is matte. I'm just going to go ahead and actually apply the Bossy Lip Pencil by itself, which you definitely could do. It's smooth enough for that. It is, you know, of course going to be very dry because it's the lip pencil, but, you know, you could wear it by itself. This is what it looks like by itself. One thing that I really did like about that is when you do wear it, there's almost like no color transfer, like slim to none, so I like that. And I'm just showing you guys here on the top lip is the lip pencil by itself, and the bottom had both shades. And this is the eyeshadows. This is Birthday Girl. This was a limited edition that they had for their one year anniversary. Absolutely love this color. It's kind of like a reflective pinky gold shade, which is absolutely gorgeous. The next one is Get Lucky. It's an ultra metallic true gold shade, so you guys can see. I really like the ultra metallics. Those are kind of my favorites that they have in their line, but it's just super pretty and true gold color. Just for comparison, Birthday Girl and Get Lucky next to each other. And this one is Partridge. This is one of the pearlized shadows. It's kind of like a brownish eyeshadow with a green duochrome. I did try to really swatch it so you guys could see in the light the really duochrominess of it. <laughs> it is buildable, so I like it with two layers. Um, but it's so pretty. The camera's not really showing you guys how pretty it is. And this is just all three of the shades next to each other. Partridge, Birthday Girl, and Get Lucky. This one is Play. This was supposed to be like a peachy color. It is a matte shade. It's more of like a yellow peachy to me. So I'm not sure what I would do with this one, but I do think the color is pretty. This next one is Liberty. This is a ultra metallic true silver color, which I love the pigmentation on that. Do you guys see that? Like, ah, uh, gorgeous. Love this color. And the last one that I have to show you guys is Tassel. Tassel is kind of, they say it's like a true white. I would think it would be good, you know, like for highlighting. Um, and it has like little reflections of glitter in it and things of that sort. So I do like that one as well. Alright guys, so that's it. That's all of the swatches that I do have to show you guys. So now I'll just go ahead and tell you a little bit of a review on what I think of the colors, product, wear, all that good stuff. So I am wearing two of the products, or really three of the products right now. I'm wearing the red lippy 
stick I think is what it's called and then also the red actual lipstick all of the colors that I got are matte just because I really like matte lipsticks so yeah as far as the wear on them this is the first time I'm actually wearing the red one um, but it seems to be so far I've had it on maybe 15 minutes or so um, but it definitely I like this one I think maybe the formula or the consistency and this one is just something about it that I like I guess more than the other ones but it could be the combination of the liner and the lipstick itself because I feel like it's going to last like all day I've worn the other two you know like just throughout the day and I felt like they lasted pretty long you know like a little bit of reapplication here and there when you eat and drink and all that good stuff but that's to be expected I really like them in for five dollars like what can't be that like lipstick on fleek not to mention I can't st stop saying on fleek everything on fleek this video on fleek I don't really know Sometimes when things are like sayings are so ridiculous, like I just have to say them a lot. The eyeshadows, I really like the eyeshadows. They're 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 different as far as you know the consistency on them. Like it's kind of weird when you touch them. Like it's not like a cream shadow, but it's not you know just like a pressed shadow either. I don't really know how to explain them, but yeah, they're different. But I like them. They do recommend to keep them you know seal tight in their containers to you know keep the longevity of the product and it does say the best way to apply the product is actually using your finger um, and then just swiping it on your hand to get kind of like the best color payoff. I did try um, a couple of them like using the um, like an eyeshadow brush and that worked pretty decently. I found that if I also used a little bit of my DIY Fix Plus that I have back over there that that helped to kind of you know just get more color payoff but the colors are gorgeous and stunning and for five dollars for colors like that from anywhere else like mac or something like that you're going to spend a lot more for the single shadows i got all of the shadows of course five dollars each and then they gifted me um this one which is super cute it has a little you know like pink um container this is the one that I'm wearing right now I just swiped that on my lids all by itself there's nothing else going on there and I really like this it's just the consistency is different I've never seen anything quite like ColourPop but I like it so ColourPop I give you two thumbs up and yeah that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video go get you some ColourPop super affordable and high payoff shadows and they have blushes too so yeah like i'm gonna check out some of the blushes let me know if you guys are interested in seeing any other colors like if you check out the website and you want to see what some of the colors look like then yeah let me know and i'll be happy to review those for you guys because it gives me an excuse to try out different colors and products but yeah other than that thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and until my next video assalamu alaikum Peace. thank you guys so much for watching be sure to check out some of my other videos if you guys are big fans of lipstick then check out my favorite bold bright affordable and high-end lipsticks definitely a video that you may enjoy and make sure to check out my most recent makeup tutorial for a full coverage camera ready flawless foundation look and yeah make sure you guys subscribe comment share give the video a thumbs up and connect with me instagram facebook snapchat what else? Twitter, Pinterest, everywhere. Connect with me at Nadira037. All right. Bye. I got the blip, bo box. Box? When I got the box. Okay. Sweating on plate. How about that? Like, it's hot. Sugar, it's hot in here. Like, I need to try to get my life real quick. Found it. Something. Help me. This is hot. Like it all me. Alright guys, so these are the colors that I am going to show you today. <laughs> my words lately guys, I don't know, whenever I'm doing videos, my words are not on fleek. <laughs> Call me Daddy Red or the Black Fabio cause I be flex. Pacific Coast Highway, top down for the breeze, praise a lot for these blessings. I'm trying to stay the same, but I feel like I need to change.